league game later today. Just another stoppage in the centre. We're also joined by Miles Sumner and Reese Lovering. G'day, boys. How are we going, mate? Good to have you along. Here That's goes Tom Hoare in the ruck again. Taken there by Pano. Jams on the boot forward to Price. He takes yeah. a nice strong mark up in the forward line. Bucky Price played in the league, league team the last time. Yeah, unlucky uh, to miss out this week. Played. Yeah. As you see Flinders Park just working it out. John Bell has parked himself underneath that yeah. one with a nice strong mark on the chest. Looking forward. Just pushed under at Brett Irons. Out the back now, Flinders Park to mop up. A feature of Irons' game during the season has been his ability to take those strong marks and also uh, plays a lead up forward in the semi final. There's Forster with a tight kick taken by Tim Phillips. Elite small forward for the Bombers. He's been probably unlucky to get a game in the A grade this year, but he's coming specialties. Just missed that kick with a, a high free kick to Flinders Park in the back lines. So news this week that Brownie won the uh, seconds medal, which yeah. was huge. Yeah, he had a great season, and considering that he played a few games in the uh, in the A grade as well, it's an impressive feat. And missed a couple towards the end of the year. Great Good tackle exactly. by Tim Pearman, who was unlucky not to get a free. Here comes Sam Hall with the chase. Just corrals his man. Flinders Park work it forward. And it's a nice mark taken on the lead. And Brenny Irons was runner up in the uh, in the second middle, so they have taken <laughs> votes of each other all season. Yeah, and considering both of them both played maybe five, five or so A grade games, yeah. it's, a, it's a mean feat. The long locks on both of them might be a feature there. Just missing that one to the, or out of bounds on the full, hitting the post in this park there. So some other players that have played uh, league footy during the season for Brighton Bombers, Danny Jackers, who we mentioned, Tom Hoare, who of course was the main ruckman last year in, uh, in when Brighton were in the Southern League. Uh, missed out this year because of uh, the inclusion of Price and uh, Scotty Hunt. There's Tom Hoare there, just parked underneath it with Flinders Park taken away with another kick to that pocket. Just missing wide and that's out of bounds in the full. And uh, tell me about uh, Scott Collins. I remember that he played a few league games for the Nil. Is that right? Yeah, he's a, a, a long time ago. I think he's, he played a couple of games and he's wandered out halfway through the season at Brighton. And <laughs> the coaches couldn't be happier to get a player of his calibre into the squad. Absolutely. Here's Cozzo now in the back lines. The searching kick out to Jake Forster who takes it. Pushing back. Puts it across the riddle. And he's away. Some good run here from Brighton on the far Very side Very quick of the ground. movement. He goes on the left carry. and a nice another mark in the same location there for Tim Phillips. He rolls around and goes long. It's on its way. And that's just wide for a behind for the Brighton Bombers there first of the afternoon. First score for the B grade final. So Brett Irons is the big threat up there for Brighton. That's the forward. There's uh, Flinders Park taking the ball to that far side of the ground. Yeah, and nice there mark. We go, out of bounds. They've oh, pulled that man. in. Pulled it in. And this big oval is going to be a bit of a different game. It will be. It will be. Down the line again for Flinders. Bon Figulo gets a nice spoil across the line. Throw in on the outer side. There's Hoare again. Brown's in there with some tough inside work and that's another ball up. Hoare up for pushing forward. Taken by Pano, snatched it away. Chucks on the boot to Brett Irons, nearly takes it. Crumb by Phillips. Scott Collins. That's gone out of bounds in the forward pocket for Brighton. So Brighton one behind. And just part yet to score. Almost five minutes gone in the first quarter here at Seven Nova. Watch out for Tim Phillips here coming through, hot off the pack. Price to do the ruck work. The umpire's picked out a free kick there in the forward line. Like 
just go Scott Collins to line up. Here he goes for the first goal of the afternoon. It's away. And just wide again. Two points for Brighton. Well, let's see how Brighton's field of press works on this occasion. Flinders Park now going wide. Ball. They like that long down the line kick. Mm. Jacob Koleski with a nice follow up tackle. Jammed on the boot again. Into the forward line, here comes Juckers. Good defence from the young man. Oh, unlucky to get away a free kick there. Did everything right. Yeah, it was a little bit ugly there. It was probably over the shoulder. So Flinders Park with their first chance. First genuine chance at goal. Here he goes now. On the boot, another wide one. It's not going to make the distance. Four back there. Picks it up now. Finds Pano with a long handball. He takes it and goes. Out to Brett Irons, who's worked up the ground. Holds the footy, loses it. And he's got a free kick for his work. And the 25 metre penalty too. So creating the space at centre half forward. Some good crumbing there from Flinders Park as they go to the far side of the ground. And out of bounds. Panna? Yeah, it's Jake Panna to get the footy here. He finds Brown with a short spot up kick on the wing. Brown, the league best and fairest for the reserves. Kicks it a price on a long lead. Now Cozzo takes it. He's got Brendan Howie. The enigmatic forward. Puts it on the boat. Oh, oh, nicely man. taken by Irons. Irons. Great work by Howie just to straighten it up and Irons the beneficiary. So Howie set it up and of course Howie kicked six goals in the second semi. Put it so. all down to his socks being down <laughs> this week. Brett Irons, 48 goals for the season, now 49. 49. I should say 48 B-grade goals, because he's got a handful of A-grade yeah, goals exactly. as well. Yeah. So 12 minutes gone in the first quarter. Eight now, minutes gone in the first quarter, I should say. We're here with Miles Sumner. You played a bit of footy with Brett Irons earlier in the season yeah, and a bit mate. in the A-grade. Yeah, no, What's good, your favourite thing about his game? He hits the ball hard, I've got to admit. He, yeah. he's a, he attacks the footy and he's... He's a good bloke as well, so uh, he'll have a big day today, I reckon. He'll, he'll snag four or five, hopefully. And a big night too? Uh, yeah, uh, he'll have a big one tonight. You'd hope sure. so. Yeah, especially after a win. Here Hall goes again in the middle now. Flinders Park have this going their way. Black just overruns it. Follows up with a good strong tackle. Oh, and another free kick. Yeah, that one was paid over the shoulder. That was the umpire's signal. Of course, in this grade, as it has been in the A grade all season, the player, player's head is always uh, protected, which is as it should be. Yeah, it is. As Flinders Park worked that one into their leading full forward, who's got a shot on goal about 30 metres out on a 45 degree angle. Can we pick up who that number, number was, boys? I think it was number 26. Rightio. He's got it on his way, and that's Flinders Park's second goal. First goal, second goal of the game, Flinders Park's first, and they're on the board. That's Jack Hambly, and he's the uh, top goal kicker in the B grade this year. He's uh, 74 goals, with the best performance. 74 of, big ones. 74 big ones, the best performance of six. So uh, he's a big target up there for Flinders Park, and that'll be a big job for who's playing fullback down there, do we know? On him? I think it looks like Luke Bonfigulo's got him at the moment. Right. Could also be Brody Warming in that pack. Yeah. So Brighton won two. 
We'll just park one goal. But, uh, and as we mentioned there, Jack Hamley kicking goal number 75 for the year, which is, which is a big effort in the big road. Yeah, it's going to be a tough one for Bright to match up on. Yeah. Another ball up here in the centre. Here's Hall with a big punch. Taken by Cummings. Flicks it out. Well, another high free kick. That's three in the first quarter already for Brighton. Drop Koenig in there for Brighton. Koleski just couldn't get the spoil on as he wheels around now, the Flinders Park player. It's long. Don Figulo with a strong spoil. Crumbed by Hall. He's everywhere, as usual. As usual, yes. Yeah. And he gets wrapped up in the tackle and that's a ball up. So that'll be important for out. Brighton to make sure that they get Hall back there if the ball comes in quickly. And that full forward, uh, Hambly is one out up there. It'll be a big chance. But if uh, Tom's able to drop back there and the ball comes in a bit slower, then right, there'll be a big chance to rebound. It's just tied up in a contest there in the forward line for Flinders Park. They've had three entries for, for from three high tackles from mm. Brighton. So Brighton, a little bit untidy with their tackling at the moment. Here they go again. Four punches it away, taken by Flinders Park. Wrapped around onto the right boot with a snap. It's not going to make the journey. Spoiled there. Taken across the line by Warming. The hockey convert warning. Warming. He is. <laughs> Taking it to it like a duck to water. The Jake Lever of the Brighton side, I reckon. A great kick out there by Jacob Koleski. Finds Cozzy. That's key. Cosso now finds Bell in the centre and looks to get it on quickly. Good run from behind there for Brighton, and that's been a feature of their games throughout the season. Been able to set he up wants that a lead run. to come at him. He's got called to play on. Just goes with a short one to Brown, who now goes wide out to Forster. Forster onto that left foot. Got a few he's touches there on, hasn't he? Yeah, he's got a nice bit of ball and always very clean. Here's Cummings. Puts it into the forward line. Lines is unlucky not to get a free hole, I would have thought. And that one just goes out of play. So out of bounds in the forward pocket down there in the... Uh... Got Howie on his own in the pocket yeah. there. Oh, his man's coming to him now. It was yeah. sneaky. Yeah. Nope, gets the hit out. Clearly away. Think this park lead it better. Take it to that far side of the ground. And they're able to set up a bit of run here. With Hall unable to uh, execute the spoil. Made him earn it though. He did. It's warming there. Yeah, Koleski tries to mop up. Tackled by two players and warming goes again. That'll be another ball up on the Flinders Park half forward flank on the eastern side of the ground. Perfect conditions for footy today. Absolutely. Yeah, they'd be happy waking up this morning, the boys, yeah. after a wet week. Yeah, that's it. Used to be balled up again. The far side. Forty-nine in there was Cummings. Another ball up. Is black. Four smashes it forward yet again. The Empire's yeah. found another free kick for Flinders. Brighton will lead it on other entry. Brighton really haven't been able to take advantage of uh, Tom Hall's dominance in ruck thus far. There's Hoare, mops up from the back lines. Good work. Put on the boot by Black, with Price coming hard. So Dave Lock underneath that pack, mm -hmm. shuffles it out. Juckers gets a handball away. That's out of bounds. So I noticed Danny Jack has started in the back line, half back flank. He's now up there on the board. Is that a normal move? Ben? I think he's just moving up. He might be in a rotation onto the midfield. Right. Or his man's gone up to chase the ball, so he's gone with him. Because we know when he played A grade, he had a couple of short runs there on the ball and was very strong around the ball, even, in a, even at A grade level. So. His cleanness was yes. extremely notable. Price bashes through. Looks like Price is doing the forward ruck work this week. Coming down from the league side from a uh, fortnight ago. And that would be huge, really, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's a big in for the, the reserves today. Yeah. A lot. It's Kozo with a strong tackle. This was a feature of Brighton's game when they played uh, 
fortnight ago, their strength around the ball. Flinders Park get this one away now and move it forward. It'll be a concern thus this early in the game that Brighton are not really taking advantage of uh, the rut work of our big fellas. Yeah, Flinders Park, there's probably evens coming from the, from yep. the stoppages. Yep. From Figlio was 11. Another stoppage here in the centre. Here goes Hall. Just loses that one. Taken by Black, though, and moves it forward. Scott Collins misses it. Good tackle. Another tackle it. given away by mm. Brighton there. Well, just a little bit higher with their tackles, I think, uh, Ben. And the umpire's picking up uh, everyone at the moment. Flinders just engineering it through. A few short kicks mm. as he plays on. He goes long into the forward lines now. Ball goes out the back. It's all Flinders Park if he can get it on. But he couldn't keep it alive and, and Paul takes it across for a rush behind. So one two apiece here at uh, Thabit Noble with uh, eight at 16 and a half gone in the first quarter. Of course, a flat 26 here in the uh, Here seconds. goes Forster. He, he puts it through with a lovely kick onto the chest of Brendan Howie. Has he got a journey from here, Siri? Oh, he's turned his back to goal, so you'd hope so. <laughs> He'd back himself from the centre square, yeah, I think, Miles. Well, you reckon that's, that'll be 50 when he kicks it, won't he? We just, he just inside on 50, 50 yeah. Yep. Gets a bit nervous to set shots how he does. Got the stutter on, but... He lines nice up. Kick. It's on its way. Good journey. Just wide for a behind. Brighton wrestling back the lead by just one point. That was great play from the back lines, though. Was. From, and from the kick in, Koleski. Onto Forster, he's had another good kick. Spinners Park go wide. Pano's underneath it, taken by Pierman. Puts it on forward to Pano. He courageously has gone back. And so those set plays from defence, and we saw it in the um, second semi when Brighton kicked the goal on the game. They're practised, are they? Yeah, they, Tuesday night, we're actually out here on Thebiton Oval and they were, they were working specifically on the kick-ins. Beautiful. Jacob Koleski always does a pretty good job and they know their running patterns where they want to go. Good. Brown gets it to Pierman. He turns inside, shuffles a handball taken by Cummings. Back to Pym and he's gone up in second effort. Cummings barges through. Here's Riddle with a nice, nice kick from the, kick. the half, half forward. Oh, that's oh. true. What a goal. He's got the socks up today, Riz. The, the socks up and he's on his way. Because <laughs> he had a very significant goal earlier in the season, didn't he? He did. Go on. What, what was the story behind that? What's up? What's the Sorry. story behind uh, that Riddle's goal? goal. Riddle kick. Oh, he kicked a goal after the siren. Yeah. That, that got so, us through, yeah. yeah. And that was a big kick as well. That was from about 50 out. So yeah. even showed then he's got a bit of power behind his kick. So yeah. only his first year of senior footy for Harrison Riddle, but he's made his mark and some yes. important moments for the Bombers. Yeah. Hard running player. He's from South Adelaide. Pretty glad to have him in the squad. So seven point lead to Brighton. Almost 20 minutes gone in the first quarter, a flat, a flat uh, 24 in the, in the B grade. Ball got hit out decisively there and Brighton won, got the better of it. There's Brown, he handles it off to Cummings who jams it on the boot and goes forward. Freddie Irons underneath it. He Good gets recovery. it again, snaps it on the boot. And that's through, Another what a goal! He's lucky he hit that one because Howie was in the square on his own and he wouldn't have been happy if he missed. Yeah, he had, look, I reckon he had a look at him in the eyes and thought, <laughs> you know what, I'm... I'm That's Brett goal Owens. number 50 for Brett Owens for this yeah, season. So a big season in the seconds. Raise the bat, Brett. Yep. So Brighton 3-3 leading in this park 1-2. Just coming into the time on period here in the seconds. So it's uh, almost 20 minutes gone. Getting their goals from their, their big forwards early, Brighton, all three of them, yeah. and two from Brett Irons. And, and it's been the run from defence that's really set that up. That, that time, they got the, Brighton got the clearance clearly out of the centre and being able to take advantage of uh, Tom, Tom Hall's ruck really Tom Hall's ruck as well. Yeah. Here he goes again, Tom Hall in the centre. Lost that one to Flinders Park. Brown wins it back though and finds Pano. 
far better reading of the play there from Brighton out of the centre. He just jams it on forward, out to space for Lockie Price to follow up. He's a good presence, isn't he, Price? He's he a is. big boy and he He's just muscles his boy. opponent down, keeps it alive. Well done. Oh, no, he doesn't. That's been called out of bounds. Got to love his follow-up work, old Pricey. Absolutely. Very good groundwork. And he'll take the ruck work here now. Half forward flank for Brighton. <laughs> Phillips gets the crumb. Mm. And immediately tackled by the Flinders Park team. Now, Locke normally wears the long sleeve jumper, we, but we can pick him by his... Um, <laughs> yeah, the, his, uh, his shine? Yeah, that's the one. That's the one you're looking for? <laughs> that's the one I'm looking for. He's follically challenged. So that goes out of bounds. He's the nicest man in Australia, Dave right. Locke. The, the father figure in the team, would you he say, is, Miles? He is. Too bad he goes for Port, though. Yeah. Um, he cops a bit for that. <laughs> Cozzo takes it Good on the boot. Playing a few loose back there. Just trying to stem the flow from this park as they win the footy. Scott Collins now might get it. Phillips does. Squeezes out of the contest, Flinders Parker away. Good pressure. Well stopped there by Tim Black. Good tackling from Brighton. Lock, Lock with another one. Tackle. It's a ball up. Just on the 50 for Brighton. Into their forward line. Looking to get another one before the, the quarter time siren. There's Price. Would have been good to get one from there. That's... Yeah, would have been. Quarter time here in the Good reserves final. To get one over. As I think the, uh, the PA system's been hijacked. <laughs> Got some special Brighton, product. Why don't we get Brighton, up here and get Brighton on the Brighton 3-3 three, three, leading Flinders Park 1-2. Quarter time here in the B grade. I think you get caught, caught ball, ball watching a bit. Yeah. Flinders Park put it in, warming Good with score. a big spoil, spoil taken by Bell now. Should be away now. He has a lot of time Numbers. and finds yes. Pearman through the middle. We look, look to get things moving quickly. Goes again to Price. One on three. Need the crummers to come for Brighton. Collings is there with a good tackle. Price goes again with that follow-up stuff. Into Juckers on the left foot. Puts it in front of Howie. Okay. What a flutter and what a kick. Good strong mark by Brendan Howie, lining up for his second goal. I'd say Brendan Howie would just about, uh, just about say, no, I don't want to play anymore because that wasn't the lace out. <laughs> yeah. Didn't have to do much though. Silver service from the young man Juckers. It's Howie, that stuttering run up goes for his second goal. And he's nailed it. Uh, it was off the boot, but we got there. That's always are from Howie. And... <laughs> They needed that one, the boys. In fact, it's his first goal for the afternoon after having kicked six in the um, semi-final. Goal kickers for Brighton thus far. Brady Irons has two and singles to Howie and Riddle. And for Flinders Park, the big fella there at full forward, Hanby, has their two goals. So, Brighton, that was really handy, Ben. Yeah, pretty fortuitous after the uh, Flinders Park had really dominated that, that mid-section this quarter. And good play led to a, a nice goal. So 4 4 28, Brighton leading 2 7 Flinders Park, 19, as the Ruckman go at it again. Paul wins that one. Koenig with a nice clean take, puts it on the left foot and will find Riddle. Just gets nudged underneath it. Flinders Park are away. They are. Akamanis puts it forward. That's spoiled out of bounds. Where is it? Yep. Being called. Pound right, boundary umpire eventually caught up with that one. So it's that transition play that uh, has caught right now on a number of occasions. But uh, Flinders Park not being able to take full advantage of their dominance in this quarter to put the scoreboard pressure on Brighton. So that handy goal against the play for Brighton in the last minute or so. Here's Pano. Tries to get a handball, that's pushed across out of bounds. 19 minute mark of the second quarter. Brighton by nine points. Twenty-eight 
20 minute mark of the second quarter. Hall to do the ruck work again, just pushes that forward. Flinders Park take it though, read it better. But that wasn't a mark, that was touched well before then. Jack has put the tackle on. Oh, what a great mark by Flinders Park. Soaring well above the pack to take that one. I reckon it might be our big man. Let's have a look. Yeah, it sure is, Kimby. Yep. Jack Hamby. Looking for goal number 77 for the season. That's from 20 out. Keeping to the southern end here at Thabit and Noble. He and finds I it. can't imagine he'd miss that one. So he's got all three of uh, the past goals. It's three goals, seven to Brighton, 4-4. Four, four. That margin is for three points. He's tick three now, Miles. Would you look to change that Bonfiglio matchup up? Oh, up he's, he's good enough to go with him, but we just need a few other boys getting in the way. Third man up, helping him out a bit more. Even if that was a very good mark, that contest there, we had three, three of our blokes go up and just couldn't get the fist in there. It's the pressure on the ball coming down and making sure that it comes that's down slowly. Yeah, it's coming in too easy at the moment. Yeah. yeah. Get that pressure up the ground a bit more. He won't be kicking the goals. Brighton, the go at it again. Brighton with a goal against the play. And Flinders with a goal with the play in that uh, last minute or so as we come into the closing stages of this second quarter. Still flat 22s, is that right, Kimpy? Flat 22s. About 30 seconds left in this quarter. It's four. Goes at it. Flinders Park take it away though. Onto the boot taken. You'll have to move it quickly. Puts it on the lead. And a nice strong mark. Well, Hamby again. This left footer he turns. But kicks it straight into the man on Mark Koleski. Smart enough to get in the way. On Figulo, well played. And Hall to clean up and get it out of the area. Scott Collins. Scott Collins. Dives on it. And that's just taken out of bounds. And It'll just about be the quarter, there it is. Yeah, we'll be. Half time here. So, some players entering into some uh, intense discussions in the uh, after the siren, with Brighton leading by three points. They gave up a 13 point lead quarter time. So, at half time, Brighton 4 4, leading Flinders Park 3 7. Brighton kicked 1 1 that quarter to Flinders Park uh, 2 goals 5, and Flinders Park. They dominated that quarter in Brighton with that goal against the play, against the, uh, the, the run of play. So Brighton by three points at uh, half time. We'll be back after the break. And Cummings with a really nice tackle. It's good follow, oh, doesn't it? So Brighton have come out a bit more determined in this uh, second, the beginning of the second half. Their uh, attack on the ball and attack on the player has been uh, ferocious in the early stages. He's priced to do the ruck work with Paul dropping back again. He gets it forward. Scott Collins gets tackled. Mm. Just falls out. He did. The umpire had a pretty good look at that one. And I thought, looking closely at him, he was going to play holding the ball. It would have been pretty rare. He? Yes. Had the, the legs wide apart. And was yeah. Ready to go, but it just came out. Price to do the ruck work again for Brighton. He gets a dump on and wins the footy. Cosso gets nice it and work, gives, gives and blocks to John Bell. Is that Swings it the wide. Pearman. And it was untidy as Flinders Park are going to run away with it, or, or are they? Good untidy by them again. From Riddle. Riddle. Puts it to the forward line. Over how he's heading. They've got the numbers back there, don't they? They've got they blocks did. everywhere. Yes. So they've been putting players behind the ball in this park to make sure that Brighton can't get that transition play going, which has been very good tactically. And they've been able to transition themselves well on that far side of the ground. Bonfiglio comes with a nice spoil. It's a necessary one. Mm. When the ball comes in slowly, Jack hamby has been uh, two or three out up there, so he's been uh, able to be nullified. But when it comes in quickly, He's been able to take advantage of three goals this afternoon. All of uh, Flinders Park's three goals this afternoon. Soccer it forward. It goes out of bounds. Forward pocket, eastern side of Thibbert and Oval. 
the third quarter here for the reserves grand final. In front of the scoreboard there that reads Brighton 4-4-28 leading Flinders Park 3-7-25 and as you can see three minutes gone in the third quarter. Another stoppage in the forward line. More hard tackles is grand final footy. It's characteristic of the second semi-final and of course Brighton were able to have a very good last quarter there. This packed footy has been a feature this afternoon. Stoppages all around the ball and it's been uh, this part that had slightly better with us. Brighton gets this one away. Scott Collins just outmaneuvered there by the Flinders Park lap. But... Moore takes the crumb and puts that one forward. Trying to get it out of the 50, but Flinders Park win it back. Mm. Scott Collins with a nice tackle. Have you seen his game? Have you seen his game today, Miles? He's been he's a real tough player, isn't he? He's really been he's hit the contest hard. Probably hasn't had a lot of the footy at the moment, but I think this second half, his fitness, especially coming from Bays, will be pivotal. And he's polished too, hopefully. Yeah. Mm. It's another stoppage on the far side. Forward flank for Flinders Park. So four and a half minutes gone in the third quarter and no score at this stage with Brighton leading by three points. Flinders Park get this clearance. Warming just camped underneath it and he moves it quickly to Bonfiglio. He goes again to Koenig who's got a lot of room to move here. He'll use those legs as well. One of the fittest guys at the club and he takes a bounce and he's away. Goes Let's the kick. This next one. Price. Onto Wyans, Hines. who gets the footy, handball on, nearly keeps it in, but that one goes out. A bit better transition, they took a risk there, Bright, in the they back did. And... See Bono moved it on quickly there, that was really good. Yeah, it's another win for Bonfiglio, a couple early in this second second half. So he's been able to run off, hand be there, which will be the Brighton game to set up that transition play, which has seen them kick four goals this afternoon. Tim Cummings grabs that one, chucks it on the boot. Oh, That's well, a goal! Oh, what a goal. Camo! Unusual for Camo to kick a, kick, kick a goal there. Oh, that's incredible. That tap down to Crum underneath and slot that was really good. Not known for the, uh, the flamboyant goal, but Tim Cummings right when you need him. So Brighton by nine points. They led by nine points in the middle, in the uh, in the latter stages of the second term, they have had a game high lead of 14 points in the early stages of the second term, and that's a little bit better, Ben. That was that was very special. Cummings and Price, good mates, and put it on a platter for him, and he's ran through and kicked a magical goal to start this second half. That's exactly what Brighton needed. So Brighton 5-4, leading Flinders Park 3-7 margin. And he goes again, Cummings. Points. He's up and about. Good smother there by Flinders, though. They're hunting him in this quarter, which is good to see. How do you see that from Camo Milos? I can't say I've seen him do that before. That was, <laughs> that was something special, wasn't it? Paul's in there again. He's there again. That's three for. Puts it forward. Irons is there in here. Price. Looks Ross around. Rock, foot, he? Has he got it left foot? Oh. There's Timmy Phillips. Oh, he's hit the post. Hit the post. That would have been something right out of Timmy Phillips' playbook. That's oh. more the guy you want to see doing those ones. You must have been seeing me at the start of the year doing that. <laughs> <laughs> we did enjoy those goals from the pocket early in the season. In, in your pocket, Mr. Yeah. Sumner's pocket. Yeah. Pierman yeah. did really well on that far side to win this footy. And he gets it and puts it forward. Price in the front position. Got the numbers here. Yeah. He rolls around. Oh, Goes with a loopy handball to Scott Collins. Scott Collins. Here he is. Chucks it right on the boot. Foot. Oh, it's come off the side of the boot. Mm. Not his preferred side and, and looked it. The boy's got to set up here straight away. Keep locking this footy in the forward lines. This seems to be the scoring end. There's no wind, no wind out there, is there, boys? No wind out there? No, nah, nothing, none to speak of, I don't think. The gums in the background are. Still has. Flinders Park going forward, Ooh. warming with a strong mark. Seems like down the southern end though, that's where the goals are being yes. kicked this game. Yes. yes. But there's no wind out there. Warming hits up Cozzo. That fitness is going to come into play as well with his son coming out. It's going to test the boys. Mm. Cummings, he's having a field day of a third quarter, puts it in long. 
How he's there and oh, takes well, a good one. Plays on goal. goal. Oh, We're going to hear about that later six on. In the, six in the second, uh, second semi and two this afternoon. Jeez. He's on fire today, isn't he? He's taking some good clunks and he's gotten away from his opponent as well. So he's got him on the lead, which is really good. And you don't need the action replay with Brendan Howie because he'll, he'll, <laughs> he'll tell walk you through it. <laughs> he'll tell you play by play hour. how he did it, what he <laughs> what did. He, what he was thinking, how he was feeling. His eyes are probably shut as well at the time. So not so. only will we uh, be able to watch this this evening out at the Brighton Club, but we'll hear the commentary as yeah, well. Yeah, we <laughs> might have a little podcast there. And <laughs> we might start something up. Game high lead for Brighton of 17 points. I think Vincent we should have mic'd him up today. He would have loved that. It <laughs> would have been very interesting. As Hall gets a free kick in the centre there. And he has his old mate John Bell wide, but... He's still him. wide. He's, he's still, still out there. here on his own. He's, got he's able to kick it to him. He's got a paddock, John Bell. He did. And he plays on oh. immediately. Oh. Risky oh. handball, but Price takes it and Price. puts it on the boot. And he right. right. it! And he's kicked it. Oh. <laughs> Get around him. Lucky Price. Pumps the chest as well. He's up and about. What a goal. Here. He's been a good presence today. He has in the early stages of this quarter. He's been really, really strong out there, boys. His follow-up work has been really good for the big man as well. Really handy acquisition coming back from the league side. And uh, who came in from him in the league side, do we know? Uh, well, Tom Hall and Dylan Howie both came in. And Jimmy Ray. And uh, Jimmy Ray played last, last game. game. But right. uh, Dylan Lang went out with the, right. uh, the hamstring he did early in the okay. game last couple of weeks ago. So Price probably hurting a little bit not making the side. He's been there all year, but making the most of his game today. Good that we have both teams in. Mm. Four inside. Brown picks it up. Very strong, Puts on the Brown. Boot. Very strong. The floated one back there, and he's taken the mark. Just takes it. This is where they've got to stop him. And he's called him for 25 metre. No, he didn't. Oh, he's played him on. Played him on. Who was the pressure there from? Was that from... That was from Robbie Koenig and... Robbie Koenig Disco and... Scott Collings and... Yep. Boy, did they let him know about it too. Yes. Koleski. Normally does the kicking in. Oh. Mm. Just misses that one. I think it came off the, uh, the heel. This is Oliver McDowell for Flinders Park. Down here. Got a push back here. Too handsome. Just starting it through. Missed... Miss target. This is Hartler. Oh, what a good strong mark. Good boy. strong mark, yes. He plays on immediately. On the boot. It's on its way. This could go through. Oh, man again. Stopped on the, mount, on the line. And he's going to get a certain goal from this part. Let's have a look. Let's, can, we, can we spot the number up there, guys? Six, is it? Chuck's on the left, and that's that's a goal for Flinders Park. Disappointing for Brighton after such a strong start to the quarter against the flow of play. So Josh Gorecki kicks uh, his first goal for Flinders Park this afternoon. They go to four goals, ten. Brighton, seven, six. Brighton were out to a 23-point lead there at the 10-minute mark of the third quarter. 12 minutes gone now, and it's back to 17 points. And that was against the flow, boys. Just a shout out to Drew Crichton there in Spain at the moment. He played half halfway through the year. He left to go to Spain and he's on his way to Paris today. So half his luck. He sent me a message saying, "Give me a shout out." So I thought uh, I better do that for Absolutely. him. Absolutely. We've got a few other Cheerios, haven't we? So to the Steer family and yeah, the, the far, family. Fl far flung corners of the earth. We've dotted around. We've gone, we've gone global, Kempi. <laughs> we have. And I know where uh, Dad was telling us we had over a thousand hits. In the second semi, which oh, is fantastic. Huge. That is huge. Yeah, it's been a good initiative from Brighton, and Kim's head doesn't need to get any bigger, does it? <laughs> and we, we have loved every minute of it, I can tell you. <laughs> Pano's wrapped up in a tackle in the centre. We've also got, hopefully, we'll see Alex Putris today from over in the UK. Fantastic. Did all the pre season and then straight off to work for Manchester United, so. Oh, nice. Half his luck. Yes. He'll be tuning in for sure. It's Cummings again. Cummings moves it oh. forward. Howie's Howie. underneath it. Great pass and a good mark. At all the time in the world, Howie. Yeah, he seems to be getting ahead of his opponent pretty easy. This was the way Brighton played in the second semi, where Howie played the full forward lead-up role, yeah. and Irons was playing the loose forward. Yeah. And, uh, of course, with Lockie Price there. He plays that role well, doesn't he? Yeah. Here you go, Howie. 
That's just the set shots. That's what we've got to question here. But he has kicked well today. It's on its way, oh, and he's oh, drilled oh, it. Way. Eat my words. Get around him. Three for Brennan Howie, and he's been the difference in this set, second half. Huge start by the Bombers. So Brighton out to make the game high lead of 23 points. They've kicked, uh, they've kicked four goals through this quarter to um, one goal three from one goal, one goal from this part. We've got Hall, Brown, Cummings and Dave Locke in the centre here. Some big names in there. Ball mm. goes up. Pano gets it off the wing though and Brown wrapped up in the tackle. So Brown, league uh, A-grade aspirations next year? I reckon he definitely will be pushing for A-grade. He had a really good pre-season this year and the first few games he played in the A's. He was a bit unlucky there. Just We've got so many midfielders at the moment that pushed him out. But yeah, he'll definitely push again next year. I thought with uh, Dylan Lane going down in that semi-final a couple of weeks ago, it would have been Brown's, Brown's spot. I reckon he was rubbing his hands together. Yeah, yeah that deal how he came back from a uh, finger injury. He came back in the side. Probably Brownie's best mate at the club too. Yes. That would have been a bit awkward for him. <laughs> yeah. So 15 minutes gone in the third quarter. Brighton out to a 23-point lead at the moment. Brown. So Brighton 8-6 leading in this part 4-7. 23-point lead, an equal game high lead at the moment. And or again, dominating as he had it in the rut. Yeah, Tim Phillips. Done. How he's a bit behind his opponent there. Forster was under there, might have got a free kick, I thought. And he might have got one there too. Let's have a look. Uh, he's just going to ball that one up. Forster, he, is, is his nickname the Snake, I hear? Jake the Snake. Jake the Snake. <laughs> Known for uh, on the goal line goals. Ah, okay. And it rhymes with Jake. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Classic work Quite there by easy, the, uh, isn't the Brighton it? guys. <laughs> Keep it simple for the footy boys. And we're making sure we're going to a family audience this afternoon. Yes. <laughs> we won't let you know some of the nicknames. <laughs> Get them. No. This is what Brighton do though, they just wear the teams down in the B grade. They're contest after contest and it looks like they might just be getting the upper hand now. 23 point lead to Brighton. It's a price in rut. Good smothering and good pressure work again from Brighton. That's Cozzo. Brown's in there. Good pressure to make it a tough kick. Poor effects the spoil and Brown just nurses that one across the line. So Brighton 8654 leading from this part 4731. Be one of the stronger Brighton sides that we've had in the B grade this year, Ben. Yeah, it certainly is. They've, they've all come to play today, and there's a few guys unlucky to miss out on this side as well. Tim Phillips comes with the crumb. Danny Jack is up forward Jack now. Is up forward, yes. Been a bit of a swing man today, hasn't he? He Jack has. Is. Everywhere. I did notice that during the season he had some uh, time there with the under 17. Uh, Championships in the July holidays, so he'd be snapped up by an SNFL team fairly soon, wouldn't he? Yeah, he's one to watch. I mean, is he was he Glenelg? Glenelg, yeah. Glenelg or South, I'm not sure. And this part now in transition. Let's have a look. Good shepherd fella. there by Good Sam Hall. This ball gets it and oh, moves great. it on to his old mate Dave Lock. A lot of time there. Oh. Just misses a kick, but Cummings. He's everywhere, he's a banger. And he's hit it great to Jake the Snake. Jake the Snake. On his own in the middle of the 50. So luck's a fortune, but luck is not really a fortune because there were a number of players, of Brighton players, there behind the ball. Yeah. And so he's one percenters from blokes like Sam Hall. Probably hasn't got a heap of the footy today, but he's he stopped his man nicely and mm. put on a good block so Buff Hall could get it out. Ooh. On the left. Does he have the legs? Oh, no, he doesn't. Would have backed him from there, Norman Milosh. Yeah, especially left foot. All left footers can can bomb the ball. <laughs> we'll have to give a little seminar, Miles. Yeah. Some of the younger left footers coming through. Coming soon. 
Price is camped underneath this one. We've got the numbers here. Swings back to the crumb though. Good pressure by the boys and coming to the end. He'll follow up though. Good pressure. It's going to go, go out of bounds on the floor. go out of bounds on the floor. You boys probably wouldn't remember this because it's a bit before your time, but uh, Billy Barrett, who played for Richmond and captain coach of uh, West Torrens here, bang one from about centre half back here through the goal. Yep, here. Oh. It was close on 100 metres. Unbelievable goal. Not this guy you'll ever see. Yeah. Jeez. He could boot a ball though. I think it was just backward of the centre, bang it through. So oh, goal post high. I need six kicks and a, <laughs> a golf drive as well and a rest. <laughs> It's a huge kick. Good pressure, pressure here boys. around the ball from Brighton. 24 point lead. There's a bit of a little scuffle here. As there is. Seems like Koenig's getting amongst it. A fair bit. He doesn't want a bit of a. Yeah. Bit of intense rough, discussion. Rough yeah, yeah. Yes. intense yes. discussion. Smallest guy on the field, too. It's <laughs> pretty easy when you know you've got guys like Buffer around you, though, that'll help yeah, you yeah. out. If he gets the punch forward, Haw. In this park, get it forward though. Warming's one on one here with his forward. You've got the numbers. No, have got the he numbers. turns him and puts it forward. Oh. On figure, nearly comes with a big score, but a strong yep. mark by the Flinders Park player, and he'll probably go back and have a shot at goal. So Brighton just caught there in transition as they were running forward. They thought they had the ball. So this is your man again, Kempi. It is my man again. So you're going for number four now, four. is he? Yeah. Comes in from 50, left foot. That's way. And he doesn't miss a lot. He hasn't missed a lot this season. Oh. That's goal number 78 this season for, for our man Jack. Back to 18 points the margin. As he kicks his fourth goal for the afternoon. First goal for the afternoon, 78 for the season. They're effort. just hanging in there, aren't they, the boys? Yeah. They're heading towards the, uh, the scoring end in the last quarter of the day, though. There's still plenty of plenty left in this game. So as we mentioned earlier, 22 minutes flat in B grade, and of course, uh, the feature of uh, the scoreboard up there is that you can actually see the time clock, which has been a huge advantage for this this season, which hasn't always been the case in all of the grounds. I believe next year's scoreboard will have it at Brighton Oval. Yeah, that's the plan. Nice. There's, yeah. there's been a, a grant issued by the, the local government. Yeah. So that should be in place for next year. So people will be able to see our call up on the scoreboard next year, which will be interesting. It's important here, only a minute to go. Mm. Don't want to lose another one here, Brighton. When so go with, backwards. Within to the go last forwards. minute. Kicks long into the forward line. And a strong mark. He's going to turn and go on the left foot, chips it in. Four is there. Mm. You've got to hold it in here. It doesn't Definitely have a holding free else. there to, to Brody Warming. He, he whipped general. around. It's not the uh, the biggest guy, so a pretty easy whip, but yeah. <laughs> so a one, smart footballer. He's got one with the ball. Well. From Figulo, just with a short chip wide. The boys would be aware of how long there is left in this quarter. No, nothing risky. As they go with a risky kick through the middle. Dave Locke. Ten seconds to go in the quarter. And they would know that. He goes wide and long. Irons Irons underneath it. Up. Koenig just sockers it oh. forward. Jake the snake. Yep. And that's three quarter time here. Brighton up by 18 points. So Brighton have uh, turned an, a three point lead into an 18 point lead in that quarter. So Brighton at three quarter time leading 8-7 to Flinders Park 5-7. Here we go, final quarter, Brighton Flinders Park, grand final of the reserves for the Div 3 Amateur League. Brighton by 18 points, and it's been a feature of their games during the season. They've won most last quarters. Going against the scoring end though, so they'll put Flinders Park are definitely still in this one. More contested footy to come, you'd think. There's Brown, mops up nicely and kicks it forward. Pierman taps it on. A nice pirouette by Tim Cummings and he bombs it forward. What a day he's having. Yeah, the second half. Howie, good. not in the best spot, but nearly gets a mark. 
In the back. And in the back Howie. free kick. Brendan Howie. That has been the advantage when uh, you've been under the ball. And Brighton were a um, victim of that in the first half where they were second to the ball, but they're Brendan Howie think, first to the ball. Yeah, it just shows you first to the footy, you're going to get the free kicks, head over the footy. So he's kicked four. Sorry, kick three. There's and another now, one. Put it. Bang! The final specialist. Yeah. <laughs> We won't tell him that though. <laughs> so Brighton who kicked uh, four goals three in that second, in the third quarter. So one goal opened in the opening uh, minute and a half of the last quarter to go out to an equal game high lead of 24 points. I think there was a game during the season when Howie was on his opponent and he was telling him each goal and how he was kicking him. So he's probably <laughs> out there and telling him how he's kicking him again today. <laughs> He does not lack confidence as <laughs> Flinders Park win this one out the centre. Put out wide and Riddle's there on his own. Riddle mops up. The match winner against Flinders Park earlier in the final city series. Contested footy up there. Oh, that's a good strong ball. tackle. That be holding the Jaden Kozlo holding the ball. The first one I think you've seen all season from these umpires, <laughs> yeah. but it couldn't have been clearer. Yeah, they don't seem to like the call they're holding the ball that often. Do you think that'd be his 15th tackle for the day? It would be. He's been, he's been around it today. He's got the A-grade record for tackles in the game this season. Fantastic. He kicks it forward. Scribe that one. Now we've got to lock it in and see that forward pressure. Goes wide with Brown coming for a spoil. Ooh. Made his man earn it. This is where they've got to push back now. I don't think they'll be doing that well today with pushing back. Don't let it leak through. Flinders Park drop it in the centre, but get a kick away. Hanno gets the ricochet. Good block there from... And goes uh, long. Good block there from Tommy Hoare. Good Scott Collins there. with the crumb. Brett did well to give him an opportunity. And that's a, a ball up. 40 metres out from the Brighton goal, straight in front. How good Tim Cummings been today, Miles? Unbelievable, especially that, sec that third quarter. He's been really good, just the ball magnet. Here we go again. Price to do the ruck work. Over his head to Irons. In there's Cummings at the bottom of that one. So a four goal lead at the three minute mark of the last quarter. And you'd like to be in Brighton's shoes at the moment, Ben Steer. Yeah, they're, they're in the box seat. It's pretty handy lead, 24 points up yeah. in the last quarter. Pressure from Brown. Good courage from the Flinders Park player who works it forward. They go backwards. A the spoil work. there from Jaden Cozzo. Looks like he might have hurt himself in yeah. that. Hoare at the back. A big fella big swings it forward. Here, Pano. Pano does enough. With Koleski to mop up just to Brown. Two of the younger guys. Brown moves it forward. Just misses his target though. And I'm going to lock it in now. Flinders Park will go again. Sam Hall. Just a bit of a tennis match at the moment yes. through the, the centre square. Oh, Here is Hall. Way. Goes with a, a really nice, smart play out to Bonfiglio, who, who goes down. again. Pano takes it and he's away. Kicks long into the forward line. Oh, with Howie trailing his man and another turnover. There's Yin and Yang moving it from back and forth between the teams. Flinders go though. Koleski with a nice foil, Lever-esque. He follows up his work too and wraps his man up with a strong tackle well, on the man. outer side. Oh, and ball squeezes out with Brown. Taking Great it. Great kick. Price. The price. He'll send it in long. Well, talk. He's got on the barrel and he's got onto it. He's got that out of the archives and he did. <laughs> dusted it off and it was a nice one. Ball now goes out, Hall's there, just goes over his head. Flinders Park take it away, moving forward. Big Figulo, read it well. Oh, Bono. He did. Is he taking He's off? got a call to play on, but he did. just gets a hand back to, to Hall, who goes wide. It's a great kick. To Pearman. Brighton just seem to be controlling the game at the moment. Four goals up. Got Chuckers on his own at centre forward here. He goes in that direction. 
Scott Collins with a smart lock and Jackets takes that easy. Perry's Has to push back though there. on his left side. And Brady Irons is off. He just chips it in the path of, path of Brady Irons, like Miles said. Read it beautifully. It's a great kick from Jackers. So you guys picked it because you've been playing with Brett during the season. Yeah. So you know the way he leads. Straight up and at you, doesn't he? Yeah. He does. Big presence and it's hard to get around once he gets moving. His opponent's done really well on him today, but I think Freddie's, if he kicks this one, I think he's on top. Yep. Here he goes now, loads up. From about 45, left foot, drags it slightly offline. But that point, it's a handy point. Handy. It's a handy point. Absolutely. Six minutes into the last quarter. Could very well be a, a crucial point there. It's close to the boundary. This might go very wide, and that's going to be out of bounds in the full. I'm impressed, guys. You know the cliches. <laughs> <laughs> Pano to get the ball just outside the 50 in Brighton's forward line. He goes again to Irons, who found some space. Wait, what a pass. You can't give Brett Irons an inch, and they've given him two metres. Brighton have really dominated the second half here at Sebert Noble. Now leading by a game high 25 points. I wonder Irons if he's learnt, learnt on 50. Him. Is it within his range, boys? He's going to have to give it his all, I think, and hopefully he just doesn't hook it like his last one. So let's see what he's learnt. Stutters, left foot, kicks and kicks. Just wide the other went side. The other side. <laughs> so one and a handy lead at the moment. Good sign Brighton for Brighton, Brighton, though. 26 points and able to lock the ball in right Another forward wide line. Side of the boot. And that's out in the full again. Oh. There he is. Pano, this is Groundhog Day. So he goes, where's Irons? <laughs> Puts up the forward line with a, oh, a good hang grab. time. A good grab. They move it quickly, Flinders, to the big fella. We're going to get on him here, Brody. They just keep going wide, Flinders. I don't think that's the way they're going to be able to come back in this game. Take some risks this last quarter. Mm. He goes back inside. Cummings on the mark. Got a few loose back here, Belly and Bono. At that time, it's given the Brighton defence a chance to get back and fill holes. Exactly right. They go in these short chip game. Once again. Another one Slow. wide. <laughs> oh, 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 oh wow. Bono with a very, very nice spoil. Snubber there, good across him. And that's the pressure that's Brighton has been able to stack their players back there across the half back line which means Clint's uh, Park makes some mistakes in the middle stages of this third, last quarter. And there's Hall with it. Grabs it out the ruck and puts it forward. Pano's there. Clint's Park take it away, though. So he goes forward, but Someone another one down. out of bounds on the full on this grandstand side. The pressure from the Brighton on ball. I see was pushing them wide at the moment. Yeah. It certainly was. And, and Brighton dominating the corridor. And they take the ball in. Jean Bell. And then Brighton can just bomb the ball down this, this oh, grandstand great... side. Oh, look at this. Oh, took a, took a risk there. And he did. Because they had a bit of space. He had some time there, didn't he? Finds Brown and he gets it out to Warming. Oh. Warming just misses his kick, but Flinders Park untidy. He kicks it now forward. Good contest here. Oh, he's oh, who, else, who else can be? That's my man, I think. Well, maybe not. No, it's not. Oh. This is the left footer who missed a couple footer. earlier. 33. Luke Visca. Luke Visca. I'm pretty sure if it's 36. No, it's not 36. Certainly <laughs> not Luke Visca, but he's, no, he's no. missed a lot. <laughs> Luke Visca being one of the Brighton players to miss out. I'm reading the wrong list here, sorry, mate. Simon Trelaw. He's, he's missed a couple now, Trelaw, and... Probably if they'd nailed a few of those goals in the second quarter in this park and kicked away, might be a whole different story. Koleski with a strong spoil out of bounds. Are you calling it yet, Miles, or are you? Uh, I don't know. Well, 10 minutes into the last, 12 minutes to go. Through. Don't want to be talked too early. Kearney gets that one. Taken by this Flinders Park big man who gets it on quickly. Must be in the instruction now from the coaches. Flinders Park, get oh, the footy in there for a good oh, pressure. A great tackle by Jacob Koleski. And he's paid, he's paid it. He's paid it. That's two for the year now. 
in the Adelaide Footy League. Yeah, no, nah, in being right. To be fair. <laughs> Four. Oh. Chuckers misses the tackle. Jammed on the boot by Flinders Park and Koleski. There's a bit of a biff on here, but there the is. little fella trying to bite off a bit more than he can chew, I think. He's going to free down the ground there, Brownie. Brown just untidy with his tackle and they're going to pass that one downfield. I think Flinders Park probably marked it anyway. And he's got to kick this one if they want to stay in at Flinders Park. So Robert Pearl is the lad from uh, Flinders Park who's having a bit of an intense discussion there with Lockie Price. And he's missed it. And he's missed it. He's missed it. Robert Pearl actually used to play for Brighton back in the, uh, the Sunday competition. Sacred Heart boy as well. So Brighton by four clear goals. And they're in no rush Brighton now, no, are they? they're not. John Bell to do the kicking in an old head. 11 and a half gone. A lot of work to do for Flinders Park to get back from here. So Brighton just counting down the minutes here. John Bell goes wide. Out of Koleski, who nearly gets that one. Body well there. Did everything right, but take the mark. Hall there with the tackle. Well back to Flinders. Big contest here. It's Tom Hall with a big spoil. Well done, Tom Hall. Thought he got copped a bit high, but Brighton winning anyway. Bell. Brown. Gets rid of it out, out wide. The few runners now with Jake Force to pick up. Pick up. Out to Pierman. Pierman slices it through the middle and finds Price. Price has been good, especially here. in the second half. Back to Camo. Tim Cummings. Oh, it's sure got to be Under hanging Under Brady Irons, who's got cold for hanging on, and he looks to move quickly too. He's got his man Howie up forward. But in his direction. And Howie oh. plucks it. Right, oh, no, he's full oh. play on. Oh. He's robbed him. Tim Phillips follows up. Surely he had that, Miles. Oh, I thought he had it there. I thought they Who was, was going to give it. it was that was Howie. Howie, Howie again. Across the back of the yep. pack and I thought he clunged it and the bloke just knocked it out of his hands afterwards. But no, the umpire called play on. Koenig to the ruck work. I didn't think I'd be calling that. <laughs> it goes out of bounds. So Got Brighton in here now. the minutes. We were at this stage of the uh, second semi where we were starting to try to call it, weren't we, Ben? Yeah, no, we weren't <laughs> saying anything, though. <laughs> we're trying to get Meg Miles to it, but <laughs> I wasn't going to do it. <laughs> no way. Uh, Scott Collins just... That's in his back. Got yeah. a free kick there for the Flinders part, falling in his back. And he'll take his time, I think. So Brighton by four goals. 13 and a half gone in the last quarter. Scott. Coming back from a hamstring injury... Might be out of his range, but... Daniel Scott Collins, left foot, looking for Howie. Top of the goal square. Some crummers there, Brighton, but Flinders Park... They're outnumbered them Get now. the footy. Yes. Oh, so, I mean, there's forward through. pressure from Brighton that's really meant that they're... John Bell's... Been able to keep the ball camped in their forward area, especially yeah, in the definitely. second half. Flinders Park have only kicked one goal in the second half of the grand final. It's Brighton leading by four clear goals. Flinders Park in the van here, but comes Koenig. Koenig will block it up. A few of these tough midfielders would be feeling pretty sore right now, but it's... Yeah, it's been a pretty hard contest. All the pain mm. will go away. Brownie. If they get this win, Brown goes forward. Yeah, There's a good mark down there to the Flinders Park defender. <coughs> Two on one. On Forster. Bring it wide. Koenig. Missed the spoil in the play. Just to run and risk it now. They kick it forward. On Figulo. He's had a good game. So it's been the pressure that's been put on by the, the Brighton on ballers that meant it's been... That's it's forced the error. Great kick from Bono. Finds Cummings. Cummings. Made that footy his own in the second he half goes. and he goes to Scott Collings. He takes a good grab. He did. He was off then too, I think. He goes wide to oh. Brennan Howie who's got a paddock. Jeez. <laughs> he takes a simple mark and will soak up even more time. So 15 and a half, coming up 15 and a half minutes in the last quarter. I'm going to call it if he kicks this one. You're going to call it? <laughs> it's okay, all over. <laughs> you reckon? So Howie from 50, right on the uh, line of 50, crosses now. 
Kicking to the northern end and kicks a goal. That's the sealer. As, as Rex Hunt would do, the fat lady is singing. <laughs> that is huge. What a I'm performance in a, in a grand final. Fantastic. Brilliant, Howie. As, we, as we'll say now, he is the final specialist. <laughs> and as he will say. <laughs> Six, six in the second semi and five in the grand final. And if Brian had had more finals, he... <laughs> <laughs> Lovely goal by Brendan Howie. 10-9, 69, a 5-9, 39. Brighton leading here in the, in the final quarter. As Hoare busts through a tackle onto Brown and kicks it forward. And Tim Phillips, Phillips, Phillips in the front, front spot, right place, right time. The last smart quarters mark. and the second halves have been features of Brighton's games, especially in the, in the final, so... Fitness, fitness is a feature here. Yeah, I think a big pre-season. It's been really good for for the boys this year. Tim Phillips lining up. He's on his way. Puts it forward. That's not going to make the distance. Taken by Forster though in the goal square. It goes through. Just in our on the right of screen, you might see Jared Brown. Looking pretty proppy at the moment. He's uh, pulled up pretty sore from a contest, but he's back running now. We've just got a shout out here for James Himes from Sydney. He's watching today. Thanks for tuning in, mate. Hope you're enjoying Brighton. I think this will be the first grand final for the year for Brighton. It's like Flinders Park running forward. Puts it on the boot, and that's a goal. So Flinders Park 6 9, Brighton 10 10. As we've called it, Brighton were out to a 31 point lead there at the uh, 17 minute mark. So 17 and a half gone now, 25 points. There are only four and a half minutes to go, boys. And if I, I, in AFL football, would say it'll be close, but that, that handy point is the key. It is. <laughs> the handy point. It's been a great contest, and Flinders Park really threw everything they, they could at Brighton in that second quarter. and. And what's the background on B-grade uh, grand finals with the Southern League? How did we go in that, uh, boys, last year? Last we haven't won. We, we didn't win last year. We lost in the grand final. Right. But a couple of years before that, we had, a, I think, a six-year run of winning the, the B-grade grand oh, final. Right. So, so it's always a strong side at Brighton. Yeah, the boys know depth. how to play, perform yeah. in the grand finals, that's for sure. Brighton go forward, but Flinders Park take it away. So we're looking forward to the big one this afternoon. We've got a couple of uh, one guest interview before the uh, big game. In fact, we've got the president of uh, Brighton Football Club. The last time they won a premiership in the Southern League in 2011. And Steve Phillips. Steve Phillips, yep. And we talked to him about a couple of the players that are featured today who were in that side uh, six years ago. He's locked with a touch in the back lines there. Over to John Bell, a couple of the old heads will be really... Really enjoying himself with Miles, aren't they? today and tonight especially. I think Tom <laughs> Hall drank, drank his fair share in beers tonight. Nice. Price, I reckon that's the hammy for Price. Didn't look good, did it? That did not mm -hmm. look good. He's hobbling. So we'll just oh, get, so get, might be you right. guys, get you guys to consider our best players in a moment. Eight and a half gone in the last quarter. Price does the ruck work. Three and a half minutes to go. The Brighton boys will be really enjoying and soaking up the atmosphere of uh, a Premiership win. First in amateur league in B grade for the Brighton Footy Club. That one's against Dave Locke. Hand on the shoulder. Just went a little bit early. Flinders Park. They're going to try and move it quickly, but only two minutes to go. Curtains have been curled. Yeah. He goes long forward. And as always, Tom Hoare on the goal line. You don't get many ruckmen to do that for you. No. Down there, punches across the line. So that's a clear four goals, and Brighton have held that advantage since the early stages of the third quarter, where they got out to that four goal lead and have held it. The biggest lead of the day has been 30 points, which was just a, a couple of moments ago. So only a couple of minutes left. That was Jacob Koleski. Who's the, the uh, oval. coach of the Brighton B grade? That's Travis Koleski, Jacob's dad. Right. So I think this will be his first Brigo Premiership. He's won a few in the under-18s. And... Nice. 
done everything right this year. Turn this park, move it forward. Well done, Bono. I think you'll have a worthy spoil after a good game. And he follows that up with another tackle. tackle. Oh, that's huge. That is huge. John Bell takes a mark on Figulo. He's had a great day. At the the real feature has been the, the defensive effort of Brighton today. Yep, the pressure around the footy and yep. causing those ineffective kicks. Especially that second quarter when they were peppering a lot. The, yeah. the boys hung tough and yeah, they, they did really well. So Brighton have not been headed this afternoon. They just can't got within four, three points in the latter stages of the second quarter. But Brighton with a very good third quarter, kicking. Uh, Four goals, three to a goal. In fact, Flinders Park have only kicked the three goals since half time and only won this quarter. About 30 seconds left now. The, the boys will be keen for this all to be done and be able to get into the celebrations. What a day they've had. John Bell has the footy, works it forward. Pierman chucks it on. Gets it out of the area. Huge moment for these lads. Many of them their first senior premiership and it's been a great year for them. 90 seconds remaining in the grand final. Brighton by four goals. And that's it. There it is. There it is. Grand final victors, Brighton B-grade. Huge day for the club. Great goal, day for these lads. Goal kickers for Brighton. Howie with five after six in the second semi. Two to Irons and singles to Phillips and Cummings. We're just going through the better players, Tom Hoare again. Well, definitely Tom Hoare is really good. That first quarter, he started off really well. He did get beaten at times, but yeah, he was really good. Pano and Bonfiglio. Yes, really good. Pano off the wing there, hit the ball hard when he needed to, so it was really good. A B-grade medalist uh, in Brown. Yeah, for sure. Brown was really good and Cummins as well. Irons up forward with a couple. He was, he was really good as well. He didn't probably wanted to kick a few more today, but he still did his share. And Lockie Price in the third quarter especially. Yeah, and his follow-up work for a big fella was, was awesome. Bill very strong around the ball. He was, especially sweeping up in the back line there Howie, as well. Yeah, me and Howie with five. <laughs> Everyone's there, going to be the every man tonight. Yeah, uh, Rob Koenig, an experienced player. Yeah, for sure. For a young fella as well, he's, he's only coming for the under 18s and he, he did really well. And anyone else you guys want to mention? Well, I reckon Tim Cummings for me, that yep. third quarter, he has had the quarter of his life and changed the game off his own boot. Huge thought, day for him. I thought Bono as well, even though he got four or four or five kicked on him today, yeah, that he still did really well. He still had that the fist in there when he needed to. So Brighton led by 13 points at uh, quarter time, three points only at half time as Ginger's uh, Park fought yeah. back and kicked two goals, five to one one in that second quarter. 18 at three quarter time and ended up winning by 24 points. Game high lead in the middle stages of the last quarter was uh, 31 points. So Brighton 10-10 defeated uh, Flinders Park 6-10. And we'll be back in a couple of moments with a preview of the grand final. Many thanks to my fellow commentators today, Ben Steer and Mr. Summers. <laughs> Thank you, thanks for having me. No worries.